here we're going to discuss about wind debug commands R and D. R is a short register so it will display the values of the registers there are some variants which is rarely used so I won't be discussing that here all the variants more or less add or remove different registers in the output so it's more of a display change so one of the things we have to know or we have to understand is I command always shows the saved CPU context in most cases it has nothing to do with the actual CPU content at the moment so our command always shows the threads saved CPU content which is what we need in most of the cases next command is a D or D star so there are so many uh, variants for this command so D stands for dump memory so DCTU, DD, DP, DQ a lot of variants most of the commands changes the display or it will shows the same memory location in different interpretations if you will DPS and a DC are my personal favorites so I'll be using these two variants more frequently one of the things we have to note is DV and DT are different it is not a variant of D star although it starts with D and you can display memory location so DB and DT has a little bit of different meaning and we will discuss that later now let's see a demo of R and D commands so I have a hello world application here I have opened that binary in WinDebug and I have got this particular software breakpoint hit again ASM int 3 so the instruction currently being executed is this particular instruction so now if you look at the R command so this is the value of different registers so EAX, EPX ACX etc. So that is port R. Now DC. So DCP. So DCP. So P contains P is a pointer as you can see here. So P contains this particular address. So I have I have done again a DC on that pointer to see what is the value inside that pointer so I got hello world which I am copying right here and the output is also hello world so this can be done in a single step DC hoi P what we are telling is P is a pointer and you want to dereference it and go one step down then another command I normally use is DPS to see the working of DPS what I am doing is I'm going to type the K command to see the stack DPS pretty much I'm trying to dump down the stack so what this command will do is it will dump out the pointer size variable P P stands for pointer and resolve the symbols for that so dump pointer with simple resolution from here to here
So the content of this memory location is this. Content of this memory location is this. So this is very useful when you troubleshoot certain kind of issues like stack corruption, etc. To see the raw stack. DPS. So if I do an ln here, so I'll get that uh, location. So it's a combination of uh, D and S, DPS. You can do a DC as well. You get the same output can do an analog here, it's the same value. It's just a combination, nothing magic. So there are different mechanisms to give the range of memory address. One is obviously giving the start address and the end address. We have seen that. Another way is giving L then the number. So it has displayed 1D word. Then if you give it'll give you 2D words. Like that. And this is applicable across all the D variants. So pretty much the same information except that it is resolving the symbol. If this is a value bigger than 256 MB you have to give a question mark here. So the syntax is going to be so the difference between this value and this value is more than 256 MP. Just to confirm the debugger that we are not making a mistake. That is why the question mark here. So there is a hyphen syntax as well which I'm not going to discuss. So this should be enough for any practical purposes. So we have seen the R command and the D command. And we have seen how to use them both are very important commands. Uh, registers and memory we can see through these commands which are the two most important programming aspects. And that's it. Thank you very much.